Joining us now, the supreme star Swarath Kumar, who's donning the role of Periya Palavatrayar in PS1. Thank you so much, Swarath, for your time. Thank you, Sam. Thank you for your time for me. You've done many legendary roles like Natamai. How special is this one for you? Definitely, it's special. First, uh, I'm working under the direction of Maniratna. Though I've acted in his production, and this is the first time I'm acting under Maniratna's uh, you know, direction. And uh, really, uh, I'm happy that he selected me to do this role. It's a very pivotal role in the film, as you know. And uh, having selected me to perform on this role, I thank him once again on this uh, channel. You are the Chancellor and Treasurer of the Chola Kingdom. Yes. In fact, at some point, Superstar Rajnigand wanted this role, but Mani Ratram has chosen you. Mm -hmm. Well, the reason given was it's got a different kind of a shade. Because Nandini is Aishwarya Rai and she's married to me in the film, as you know. And Periya Prabhatrayar is an elderly statesman, a warrior with 64 wounds on his body. And uh, he's married to Nandini. And uh, the only thing he has failed in his administration capacity is uh, he's failed to understand the manipulative notions of Nandini. So that is the only mistake of Periya Palavitraya. So, and uh, Rajini having read the book, and anybody who read the book, even who read the book even now and who have read the book, their curiosity will be who is Periya Palavitraya? Who will do it, adorn this character when it comes on silver skin on the celluloid? So that is why I think when he read the book, uh, Rajini would have felt that this would be a very interesting role to play. And how did you sign? I found this character as depicted in the book and that is exactly that has happened. It was nice to work with uh, Aishwarya Ji and uh, our Miss World and uh, and uh, the scenes that were you know enacted, the way she was dedicated and disciplined I would say because uh, it is almost like live sound and she had uh, gone through the uh, script reading and along with all of us and she knows the line and she knew the line. When she came and performed, she spoke Tamil and acted. So that is something which is, which is an actor, true actor. And really, hats off to her, and she's looking gorgeous in the film. Like Ravi Verman's painting, this cameraman Ravi Verman has done a great <laughs> job on all of us. And uh, actually, right, is looking gorgeous in the film. Is it true you were a little uncomfortable doing the romantic scenes with Aishwarya Rai Bachchan? <laughs> Initially, there was, there was some inhibitions. Uh, well, uh, inhibitions for you? No, it's sorry. <laughs> inhibitions in the sense, uh, basically, uh, she's Miss World, and uh, Amita Bachchan's uh, daughter-in-law and Abhishek's uh, wife and then a beauty personified and then uh, doing certain scenes and scene, it's not very too kind of closer kind of a scene but there are some scenes where I go and talk to her about certain things where the angry man who comes and you know confronts her on something but she makes me melt so those were the scenes that I acted with her so it was very interesting and a very dedicated person I found I should to be and very uh, very friendly uh, outside the set and things like that. So Nandini's character has shaken you up in real life as well. <laughs> in real life, uh, I, I find a very uh, warm personality in uh, Shara because when my children wanted to see her and she readily accepted to see them and very basic humility, the entire family, Amitabh Ji, Abhishek and Aishara, they all have the same qualities. I'm really happy to have met her in this world. It's a fictional epic. Uh, do you think this will connect with a contemporary audience like ours? Definitely it should because it's got a story base. It's got everything in it. It's got entertainment value. Uh, more than the people who are historians or people who have gone history students who know about the Chola Empire and the Chola dynasty. Uh, now it might even go outside the state. Because not many people know the Chola history. They were the basic shipbuilders in the entire world. So these are not known. I think this movie when it comes and when people start appreciating it, definitely instead of going to Taj Mahal, they'll come to. Tanjore and see uh, the Tanjay Periyakoil, the big temple that has been built by Raja Raja Cholan and the Gangekota Cholapuram. Because Rajendra Cholan, the, the son of Raja Raja Cholan, has gone to Kedah in Malaysia. So if they captured Kedah in Malaysia, they have gone via the sea route. So these are the things which should come out. The Chola dynasty is the most powerful, economically well balanced, powerful administration, warriors, where warfare was very good. And this is what we should know and they will come to know about this through this film. Right. And in terms of Working with Mr. Mani Ratnam, first film for you as an actor, how would you share I it? acted in, under his production, Aliyam production, I worked Dasaradhan, it was an interesting film directed by his associate uh, Raja Krishnamurti called Kitty, who was an actor. And then uh, Vanam Kottutum was one film, the directed by Dana, his associate. And uh, it was also a very interesting uh, film with a social message of uh, uh, in anger when I murder somebody, I go to jail and come back and my children just hate me.
right. a very interesting uh, screenplay and the money had come to the set many times so i was wondering uh, whether he is coming to look at uh, dana working there <laughs> or he looked at me because you know only after that film uh, mani sir called me to his office and told me sharad you are doing very well there there's also a transition between career baravatrayar in part 1 and part 2 how did you deal with that see basically periya parvatra remains the same throughout so the only thing when he realizes nandini's intention is when he awakens to the whole situation and it is which is the crown prince is in danger so when he rush back what happens is the story and nandini's aishwarya rai's uh, complex character did that was there a kind of a challenge for you as well no it is it is it must have been a challenge for her because her beauty personified doing this almost an antagonist kind of a role basically she is manipulative not antagonist she had her own reason if you read the book if there are people who have read the book she has got her own uh, reasons for doing what she is doing in the film she is behind the throne and she has been let down by people which only way she finds she can be protected by periya palavatra because invincible uh, man and war, uh, warrior who can never be defeated which even aditya karigal and himself in our scene tells that i cannot fight you and win right. so that is the valor so nobody can oppose uh, periya palavatrai so he is also closer to the king which is sundara cholan so she gets married to him just to take some kind of a revenge right. so I, i don't think it is uh, it's a manipulative character but she has adorned it well right. recently many south indian films like bahubali rr they made it they become pan india blockbusters yeah. you Pushpa, think KGF. yes yeah. you think ps1 will join that big club big league it should i wish it does because basically the other films were more of uh, fantasy and uh, i think this is more a fictionalized history because of people who, who do not know the history that's what i'm trying to say but as a story when they look at it it's got everything every nuances of film making uh, the glitz and glamour uh, the director behind the whole thing the mantle and then the cameraman ravi verman thoda darni the art director the every department is well taken care of in this film so it is straight to watch and once they get into the story line when the names may be difficult for them to pronounce like aditya karigal and normal devan and madran dagan periya palavatra chinna palavatra nan all this may be tricky to them otherwise when they understand this as a movie and then watch it it's a treat to watch thank you so much sarath and what next for you as an actor now i'm yeah, doing a lot of films after banam kotadam i have you know taken a you know taken a sabbath for some time as you know i've been very busy and after surya once some story moved move on moved on to politics and so i felt my passion to act is in the foremost uh, uh, right now and that is in the forefront right now so Will ps1 revive you as an actor again no i've been doing doing a lot of films and uh, i think uh, ps1 will also see me in a different color right because there's a different kind of a thing and when you act along with uh, you know money's direction people are going to watch you and then you come as i should have rise pair also be who is this guy so if i was doing any other character may not be noticed uh, at all may by, by your performance you might have been noticed but here straight away you get that i would say getting a handicap like you know easily against others is i should have rise and who is this husband who is this guy so that way of projection is definitely going to be there for us what has brought about this kind of a change in south indian cinema that now the entire country takes notice of south uh, southern films and they look at films made here i think uh, i don't want to blame anything on anything the way of the maybe the people's you know ch- I mean taste keep on changing whether not south east or west i think right now uh, the audience in north are looking for something else i think i hope uh, uh, bollywood realizes that immediately and try to uh, adjust to that kind of an audience i think they want something to relate to the commoner i think right uh, instead of glitz and glamour more to reality i think that is what is the want of the common man today is uh my feeling about uh, not film and then cinema is certainly larger than uh, bollywood that yes it is it is now i think there is nothing called as uh, bollywood there's no tollywood there's no kollywood i think there's one film industry right. indian film industry right. so everybody is walking i mean working here i'm working in nakshay film so they will start noticing me so likewise they can act here so he has acted here so i think now an artist an actor is recognized by the world by the advent of uh, ott platforms so i can be noticed by a hollywood director you have to see in this maybe lord of the rings they want me, uh, me to work on that they can uh, you know portray this guy because they also are looking for indian markets right so when they're looking for indian markets and indian actors necessary so most of the films english films you see a sadaji everywhere that is because they want an indian aspect to that movie goes are more in india thank you so much sir for your time and all the best thank you thank you sir thank you so much that was sir kumar talking to us in chennai with suresh sam daniel find the tv